Well, climate change is an issue we are all familiar with, but for many school districts in Northern California, it's becoming an issue they need to take head on. CBS 13's Ashley Nanfrey is getting answers about the changes they're making now to make an impact for the future. You may think of this as your average school garden, but one of many to come in Sacramento addressing a bigger problem. School districts like ours must think deeply about how to adapt to a rapidly changing climate. Sacramento is not the only city in California affected. Wildfires, heat waves that result in power outages, flooding and storms. Mm -hmm. And each of those events, um, as a result, we've seen more and more schools having to close. In 2020 alone, 104 school districts in California closed because of wildfires. But that has a number of impacts attached to it. A changing climate making many students miss out on school and what comes along with it. When schools close, students don't have access to services and supports that are traditionally offered at a school site. Leaving many asking what to do to keep up. Schools will definitely need to continue to plan and also reevaluate facilities to ensure that they can withstand these extreme weather events. From districts like Sac City, implementing new remodels of their schools to be energy efficient. A big picture goal is to eliminate carbon emissions from our building's energy usage by 2045. To the Central Valley, where Modesto is focused on rolling out the new future. And we call this the movement begins. With the addition of 50 new electric buses fueled by solar. Adding solar will cut off 75 to 85 percent of our electricity bill. Adding more shade on campuses, two electric rides, heat resistant fields. <laughs> and redesigning their schools. This is our sustainable outdoor learning environment. Outdoor classroom without walls uh, does have solar panels on it, so it's generating, it's generating the power that is being used down below. Each district trying to make their changes now. We've dealt with uh, surrounding wildfires uh, that have caused air quality issues in our schools. We've, we've dealt with severe drought. So we, we do see the effects uh, here in Central California of changes in the climate. These problems aren't going away. They're an issue today. They're going to be an issue tomorrow, but then based off of the trends that we're seeing, they're going to be a bigger problem tomorrow.